Good morning. We are very sad to be leaving the beautiful Lake Vlad, but we are heading into the Opliana. Before we do that, though, we are going to find a special delicacy for breakfast called Kremschnita, I think it is, which is a cake that is exclusive to this area and is a specialty here. And it translates to cream cake. Yep, so we'll do that and then we'll head back. Update. Everything is closed because it's a Sunday, so unfortunately we couldn't get the Korean cake that we wanted to try. So we are on the bus back to Liviana, a little bit hungry. have made it to our hotel in Labiana. And yeah, unfortunately no dice on getting that cake. So we decided to go for a different speciality of this particular region, which is called Burak. Initially it's Turkish in origin, but it has managed to make its way all the way over here. And it's kind of one of their main dishes that they like to enjoy. Just so you know what burek is, is it's phyllo pastry and it's stuffed with different types of things. So we went to one of the best rated places for it called Olympia and we're gonna give that a go. You got one that's mince meat. I have some kind of cheese and spinach, <laughs> sort of like spanakopita I guess, and then we got a dessert one which is apple. Excited to try it. Let's hope it's good. Pastry is really light, and then uh, with the mincemeat and everything like that, it's kind of just all the way through. It's kind of like having just a really good quality meat pie, but as a handheld, it's great. Mm. It's nice and warm. You can taste the feta and the spinach. The phyllo pastry isn't crispy. It's very soft, and I guess that's the main difference between this and spani copita, is I think spani copita is a little bit crispier. This is a bit softer. And now for dessert. I love apple and cinnamon anyway. This is all of that and more. This is, this is really good. Does it taste like strudel? It is, actually, yeah. That's probably the best comparison. Like, the pastry is still kind of savoury, but they definitely throw in kind of enough apple and cinnamon and sugar into this to kind of make you forget about that. The filling in itself is so good. Still like strudel, but like a less sugary version, I guess. We are now heading out on a walking tour that is going to take us to Loviana Castle. Good.
just finished our free walking tour of the old city and the castle. And it was really nice compared to a lot of other walking tours because the city wasn't busy today. It's a Sunday and most things are closed. So the city was kind of deserted and you weren't really having a fight with people to take pictures. So I really enjoyed that component. Also, I don't know why I was surprised by this, but I am. Lopiana is a pretty small city, very walkable. Even the Italian cities that we've been in have been walkable, but this is, it feels very small. More like I was comparing it to where I went to school in the Netherlands in Honingo. Like it's a small city, but because it wasn't crowded and because it's a small city, I felt like our tour guide, Lucy, was able to not only impart a lot of history about Liviana from what, like the 11th century all the way up until I want to say the 19th century, but she told us so many cute stories and legends that come from the city. I think probably one of the nicer things on top of that was, um, as well as just taking us around the city, then she also took us through the castle. We were under the impression that in order to even get into the castle and see any of it, then it would have cost like 12 euros entry. But it turns out those are only for kind of certain exhibits. The vast majority of the castle is actually free. So as part of the tour, she took us through a bunch of the different parts of the castle, which were points of interest and talked us through a lot of the castle's history, why it's still standing and how they managed to build it and how it stood the test of time, even from the days of the Romans. So all in all, that tour was fantastic. Yeah, I really loved that we got to see the courtyard of the castle. We went up to a viewing point and had an amazing view across the city. We saw the old prison. We saw St. George's Chapel. We got to see the original entrance all for free. I think I was under the impression that if you paid to go into the castle, you would actually get to see state rooms and things of that nature. But it's not been maintained as a castle. There are several restaurants and cafes. And so as Nick said, just some exhibits. And we had quite the debate <laughs> as to whether it was worth 12 euros or not. We decided it probably wasn't and that we could probably spend that 24 euros in total a bit better elsewhere. I think that's going to be about it. We're going to head back down into the city now and... What? Get some food, maybe? Yep, and then otherwise just take in a little bit more of the city so far. Yeah, but definitely recommend this tour, and we'll link it in the description box below. with editing. Rachel was very eager to get comfortable and get undressed so she's currently behind the camera but we'll look forward to another beautiful day in this amazing city. Until next time, take care. And keep smiling. Good morning. I was a fake too much.